said all that, the vet still thinks that the outcome for Chino is poor. Isn't that awful? Like, that's so sad. Like, he said whenever he sees late stage diseases like Chino has, coming back is a really, really hard journey. So what I told the vet was, we're going to give him the drugs. We're gonna give him a bunch of supplements. We talked about it. He, he gave me the names of all the supplements that he needs. He needs vitamin E, he needs selenium, he needs probiotics, special probiotics. He needs, like there's a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. Um, we're gonna support him as he gets better through the course of these antibiotics. And then we're gonna take the next step. If he still doesn't come sound, we're gonna go further and we're gonna do more x-rays. We're gonna, we're gonna see then if he's gonna come back from this. It's just because he's getting all the things he needs now doesn't guarantee he's gonna come back from it. So he might not come from back from it. I feel positive the vet doesn't feel positive he said when it's late stage like this the chances of them coming back but I believe in a greater power I believe in a higher power I believe that what's meant to happen is gonna happen and we're gonna do everything that we can and that's what I said like if he doesn't come back from it we've done everything we can we're gonna do everything we can and that's that's where it ends with this part of Jer Chino's journey I'll share with you guys as things get going and as he starts to get better and better and better and how things are changing and we'll see together if he comes back but i believe you guys i believe